talk to us, you mentioned it before, talk to us about the, the man in the high castle because that was based on a book, wasn't it? Yes. Philip K. Dick? That's right. There we go. Um, how did you adapt a book into four series? How do you even so, start with that? Where do you start? Have, are you familiar with this? Anybody seen The Man in the High Castle or know the book? So I had read the book in college and I, it really made an impression on me because it's about a world where the Nazis won World War II and America's occupied the eastern part of the country by the Nazis and the west coast by the fascist Japanese and then there's a neutral zone going down the Rocky Mountains. And um, I was asked by Ridley Scott's company, do you want to adapt this? They've been trying to get it made for seven years and never succeeded. They had one last chance. And I immediately said yes, because I remembered the book and how much it affected me. But then after I took the job, I read the book again. And I was like, gosh, I didn't remember there's no story here. <laughs> It's a really arresting concept and really powerful idea, but there was no narrative. And I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I mean, I've, I've agreed to do this. And I also didn't want to be one of those guys who takes a Philip K. Dick novel and just throws everything out. I wanted to honor Philip K. Dick. Yeah. So what I did was I thought, what, what's this book about? And to me, the two things that I thought it was about is, one, how do you hold on to your humanity when you're living in an inhuman world? And the second is, what's the nature of reality itself, which is a tough one. So I said, okay, I'm not doing Philip K. Dick any favors if I make a bad TV series. So I'm going to do what I have to do to make this a good TV series, but I'm going to honor those themes. I'm, I'm going to build this out according to those ideas. And so I added the Nazi character on the East Coast, played by Rufus Sewell. I added a Japanese inspector in San Francisco. I the central couple, they were divorced at the beginning of the novel. I, I had them be together still and still living in San Francisco. And I did all of these things. And then, you know, hoping that people wouldn't think I'd ruin the book. And then when it came out, people thought I'd been really faithful to the book, which I thought was really a, a compliment because I, I think I was true to the spirit of it. 